I'm Poonam Saini. Today we are going to discuss about multiplexer and demultiplexer in digital electronics. So, uh, first of all, we are going to introduce about what is um, multiplexer and demultiplexer. So, in the large scale digital system, a single line is required to carry one or more digital signals. And of course, at a time, one signal can be placed on the line. But what is required is a device that will allow us to select and the signal we wish to place on a common line such as circuit is referred as multiplexer. In a multiplexer means you can say that uh, n input lines and feed that to one output line that means many inputs converted into the uh, single output. So the function of a multiplexer is to select the input or uh, input of any n input lines and feed that to the one output line. The function of demultiplexer is just opposite to the function of multiplexer and the shortcut form of the multiplexer. The demultiplexer and are MUX and DMUX. So you can say that multiplexer is a MUX and demultiplexer is a DMUX. So some multiplexers perform both multiplexing and demultiplexing operations. The main function of the multiplexer is that it combines input signals allows data compression and shares a single transmission channel. That means the main function of a multiplexer is to combine the input signal with the select signals and compress the signals or you can say that compress the data and shares a single transmission channel. So the, you can see that this is the uh, diagram for MUX and DMUX. In this many input lines, single output, the opposite of MUX is DMUX, single input, many input lines. So this is the uh, in multiple input signals and after going from MUX to DMUX, then it will convert it into the original input signal. So you can say that the, what, the original signal is, we can get the original signal after the signal is going through the MUX first then DMUX and then the original signal will automatically come out. So uh, now we can say that that multiplexer is the device that has multiple inputs and a single input li uh, line output. The selects line determines which input is connected to the output. That means the input is going to be selected. So we can select the line. So uh, when we select the lines, we can automatically uh, connect it with the which input is connected to the output and also to increase the amount of data that can be sent over a network within certain time. It is called a data selector. So the single pole multi, multi position switch is a simple example of non electrical a uh, non electronic circuit of multiplexer and it is widely used in many circuits. The multiplexer is used to perform high speed switching and is constructed by electronic components. So this is basically multiplexer is basically used to perform high speed uh, switching and switching means uh, on off. We can um, switch uh, like when a signal is in on condition then the signal is on off condition that means switching that on off conditions and it is constructed by electronic components. Multiplexing, multiplexes are capable of handling both analog and digital applications but basically we are doing uh, digital applications. Uh, with the help of multiplexer, multiplexer. So in analog multi applications, multiplexers are made up of relays and transistor switches. Whereas in digital applications, the multiplexers are made up of standard logic gates. That means uh, we already discussed gates in our pre previous lectures. So uh, we are gate having OR gate, AND gate, NOT gate, NAND, NOR, XOR, XNOR. So these are uh, these multiplexers in digital circuits. The multiplexer is made up of these standard logic gates. So when the multi multiplexer is used for digital applications, it is called digital multiplexer. When we are going to use for analog applications, it is known as analog multiplexer. So this is the introduction. You can see that that many inputs 0, input 1, 2, 3 is and the select line. So after we, when we select S1, then the output will come when we select S0. So these select lines is basically used to combine the data, uh, to combine the input data with the uh, select lines and then the output will produce. So uh, uh, there are many types of multiplexers. So today we are going to discuss about 8-1 multiplexer. So for the com combination of selection input, the data line is constructed to the output line. This uh, You can see the circuit in this, uh, there are 8 8 is to 1 that means 8 is uh, input and the 1 is output. So you can see that uh, in a circuit the 8 to 1 multiplexer requires 8 AND gates and 1 OR gate and 3 selections line. So you can see that 8 AND gates, 1 OR gate and 3 selections line S0, S1 and S2. So 
as an input the combination of selection inputs are given to the AND gate with the corresponding input data lines. So in the similar way all the AND gates are uh, gates are given connection like this uh, you can see that having a one connection all the gates are having one connection. So in this 8 is to 1 multiplexer for any selection input line one AND gate gives a value of 1 and the, re and the remaining all AND gates give 0. So you can see that when the input goes to uh, 0 only this one will give uh, uh, 1 otherwise it all will give 0. When 1 is positive all other will negative. In other, way, in other words we can say that when one gate is positive so it will give 1 uh, as a in output and all the other gates will give 0. So all the other gates are in low value or negative. So finally by using OR gate all the AND gates are added and this we will equal to the selected value. So in this because of the AND gate the function of the AND gate is uh, going to be performed and this will equal to the selected value. So this is the time multiplexer 8 is to 1 in this 8 AND gates is to be going to be constructed with one OR gate and having three select lines that means S0, S1 and S2. So uh, you can just see this. This is the example or you can say that this is the correct circuit diagram of 8 is to 1 having D0, D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6, D7 are the uh, input lines and these three are the select lines. This is A. When A is going through the NOT gate it will become A bar. When B is going through the B, uh, NOT gate it will become B bar or B NOT. And when C is going through the um, NOT gate it will become C or C bar. And after this it will combine into F. So these are the inputs, these are the AND gates, 8 AND gates with uh, 3 select lines combined it will become 1 or, and 1 OR gate. So you can see that this is 8 AND gates, this is 1 OR gate, this is 3 select lines and the output should be came out. So this is the basic principle or you can say that this is the basic function of a multiplexer. So what are the applications of multiplexers? Uh, it is used in many systems like communication system, computer memory. Uh, a communication system has both a communication network and a transmission system. By using a multiplexer, the efficiency of the communication system can be increased by allowing the transmission of data such as audio and video data from different channels through signal lines or cables. So in the next form it will uh, use in com computer memory. So multiplexer are used in computer memory to maintain a huge amount of memory in the computers. So uh, for maintaining the huge amount we, we allow multiplexer to do this application. Okay, uh, and also to reduce the number of copper lines required to connect the memory to other parts. So this is the basic uh, use of multiplexer and it is also used in telephone networks. So uh, in telephone networks multiple audio signals are integrated on a single line of transmission with the help of multiplexer or transmission from the computer system of a satellite multiplexer is used to transmit the data signals from the computer system of a spacecraft or a satellite to the ground system by using a GSM satellite. So these are the applications of multiplexer. These are the common and basic applications. So what is DMUX? DMUX is basically the opposite or the inverse process of multiplexer. In a multiplexer, they are having a lot of inputs giving you single output. In demultiplexer, the one input gives you many outputs. So in you can say that it is the reverse process or the inverse process of multiplexer. So demultiplexer is also a device with one input and a multiple output lines. It is used to send a signal to one of the many devices. The main difference between a multiplexer and a demultiplexer is that a multiplexer, multiplexer takes two or more signals and encodes them on a, on a, a wire whereas a demultiplexer does reverse to what the multiplexer does. So, you in a very simple way when you get the multiplexer operation it, it is a reverse process of the multiplexer. So uh, the, in this you can see that, that F is the input and uh, one is input and many are the outputs with two select lines or uh, three select lines. If we take 8 is to 1 then it, there will be a three select line. So 1 is to 8 multiplexer. The demultiplexer is called the data distributor as it requires one input and three select lines and eight outputs. So similarly same 
as you can see that there are many uh, single out input you can see that only one input and you are having many outputs like f0 f1 f2 f3 to up to the f7 and with these select lines so you can see that that uh, demultiplexer takes one signal input data line and then switches it to uh, any one of the output line so one is to a demultiplexer circuit diagram uh, you can see this diagram and refer this diagram to understand the uh, introduction of this type of multi multiplexer and uh, it uses eight AND gates for achieving the operation you can see that there are eight AND gates F0 to F7 there are eight AND gates to achieve the uh, final uh, output of the demultiplexer so the input bit is considered as data D and it is transmitted to the output line so it depends on the control input value of the AV when AV is equals to 0 the upper se second gate F1 is enabled while the remaining AND gates are disabled so when uh, AB is 0 1 you can see that that select lines AB is 0 1 only this will is positive otherwise all are enabled when the second operation uh, 1 0 then this will be a positive and all will be a negative when third operation this will be positive uh, the other will be negative or you can say that the one is enabled all others are the disabled so you uh, 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 if D is low, the F1 is low and if D is high, the F1 is high. So you can see that when D is low, the F0 is low. Uh, when one of the uh, input is low, the output should be low. So D is low, the F1 is low and if D is high, the F1 is high. So the value of the F1 depends on the value of D and the remaining outputs are in the low state. So when uh, the F1 value, uh, you can see that the output of the F1 is totally depend upon the D. So when the D is high, the output should be high. When the D is low, the output should be high and the other outputs is in the low state. So uh, here we are going to discuss about the applications of demultiplexer. It is demultiplexer is also used in communication system because it is also the reverse process. When we were going through a forward process, we have to come back in the reverse process in the communication system. So for the for the forward process, we are using multiplexer. For the reverse process, we are going to use DMUX. So MUX and DMUX both are used in communication system to carry out the process of data transmission. A demultiplexer receives the output signal from the multiplexer and at the receiver and it converts them back to the original form. It is also used in arithmetic logical unit, arith ALU, you can see that, say that ALU. It is used in micro, micro, microcontrollers or microprocessors to perform the logical as well as the arithmetic operations in the microprocessor. So, in this we are also going to use DMUX. The output of the ALU is fed as an input to the demultiplexer and the output of the demultiplexer is connected to the multiple registers. Multiple registers, registers are basically used to um, uh, to, to store some memory in the computer or microprocessor. So, so you can for the uh, for the storage we already use multiplexer in computer system. So for the storage uh, we uses a, a for the storage of uh, arithmetic logical unit we are going to use that arithmetic that demultiplexer. So the output of the ALU can be stored in multiple registers. So to store the uh, output of ALU in the registers we are going to use demultiplexer. So uh, this is the end of multiplexer and demultiplexer. In the next topic, we are going to discuss about flip flops. And thank you.